military aviation, numbers usually come after the letter F. It means one thing, fighter jet, F-15, F-16, F-22. And each of these names means air dominance, speed, and national defense. But in 2025, something surprising happened. A new number was added to the legacy, F-47. And this time, it was not Lockheed Martin or Northrop Grumman behind it. It was Boeing. That caught a lot of people off guard. The Boeing F-47 is the name now given to the next generation stealth fighter developed under the U.S. Air Force's Next Generation Air Dominance Program, or NGAD for short. And it's not just another fighter. This is a sixth-generation platform. That means it's not just faster or stealthier, but it's built to outthink and out-adapt anything else in the sky. The contract award was announced March 2025 by President Donald Trump, with Boeing beating out longtime defense favorites like Lockheed Martin, who had built the F-22 and F-35. The F-47 is expected to cost over $20 billion just in development, and that does not include full production. But why did the Air Force go with Boeing? Sources close to the NGAD program have pointed to Boeing's deep bench of engineering expertise, especially in autonomous flight systems, next-gen composites, and their commitment to a modular family of systems. That's key, because the F-47, it's not going to be flying solo. The idea is to pair the manned F-47 with unmanned combat drones, referred to as loyal wingmen. They can fly with it fly beside it, and take on high-risk missions. These drone aircraft will share data with the pilot in real time, creating an integrated web of awareness and firepower. And the F-47 by itself? Well, the Air Force is keeping tight-lipped about the specs. But here's what's expected based on some reports. It will likely have adaptive cycle engines, able to shift between high thrust and fuel efficiency. It will feature advanced stealth coatings, quantum radar evasion technology, and AI-assisted pilot systems. It's expected to fly at supersonic speeds without afterburners called Super Cruise and carry hypersonic missiles, giving it reach and punch that very few platforms can match. And there's another key factor, the range. Unlike the F-22, which was built for short bursts over contested zones, the F-47 is designed to fly deep into enemy airspace, operate for extended missions, and dominate without refueling for hours. That matters when you're facing advanced defenses in places like the Indo-Pacific. Testing for the aircraft reportedly began back in 2020 under black budget conditions with prototypes flown under code names. And now that the program is public, we know the designation. F-47, marking the first operational sixth-generation fighter in the entire world. And here's an interesting callback. There was a previous F-47. After World War II, the Republic P-47 Thunderbolt was redesignated F-47 by the Air Force in 1948. But the Boeing F-47 today has absolutely nothing in common with the original Jug. Except for maybe one thing, both were built for survivability. The modern F-47, it will fly smarter, faster, and deadlier than anything before it. And its mission, to preserve American air dominance for the next 30 years, and to send very clear messages to the world's most sophisticated militaries, that we're still on top. These are Interesting Things with J.C.